This is Captain Ross with 3B's Captain School, and this video is our course track line video in our navigation series. This is Captain Ross with 3B's Captain School, and this is course track line video in our navigation series. Um, remember, navigation is the art and science of directing the movements of a vessel safely, confidently, and efficiently from one location to another. <clears throat> Objectives for draw a course track line. We want to state how a course track line is used in navigation. Plot and properly label the latitude and longitude for beginning and ending points. Demonstrate how to connect the points and draw a line with the parallel ruler. Demonstrate how to walk the parallel ruler to the compass rows and read the true bearing. Demonstrate how to properly label a course track line. Okay, so what is a course line or a track line? A course line is simply a straight line drawn on a chart in the direction of a course. So I'm intending to take this course, say, 005 true. So on my chart, I would draw a line on zeros on a bearing of 005 true from a starting point um, and either finish it with a distance or draw it to an ending point. A track line is a line drawn on a chart showing a course that you already followed, basically. Um, you can use those terms interchangeably. I use track line a lot and I go between it's either a course I intend to take or a course I followed. And we use TR as a abbreviation for track line. All right, so what we want to do here is plot and label a track line from 37 degrees, 1.5 minutes north, 75 degrees, 30.5 minutes west to 37 degrees, 5.3 minutes north, 75 degrees, 30.9 minutes west. And then this here is a, just an example of a basic track line. Here's our starting position. Um, I label it here A. You would want to label it on your chart, so I labeled that one A. My second position up here, I would just simply label it B. And then I have points A to B. And then I draw a straight line between the two. All right, so first thing I want to do, plot the starting and ending points. So I'm going to plot the latitude for the starting position, the longitude for the starting position, plot the latitude for the ending position, plot the longitude for the ending position. And our positions here, as a reminder, 37 degrees, 1.5 minutes north. 75 degrees, 30.5 minutes west. And then our ending point, 37 degrees, 5.3 minutes north. 75 degrees, 30.9 minutes west. And you can see here on the picture here beside us. So I line up here on this 37, and then I've got, with the pointy end of my dividers, 37, 1.5 north. So here is 1, and there's 1.5. Now I'm going to move the, you can't see it really too well here, but this 37 degree latitude line goes all the way across the chart there. I kind of highlighted some in red. So I'm going to move my dividers across the chart horizontally until I get over about where 75.30 is located. And then you can see um, on the other picture there, here I'll highlight that and bring it in, right here, that's me moving that latitude over along that 30 line here where my uh, cursor's at the bottom of the picture. And then I'm marking the latitude. You can see that vertical little dash there, that's where I've already marked the longitude. So that's how I'm gonna find my latitude and longitude for the starting position. I do the same for the ending position. Um, and then when I have those two positions marked out on the chart, and you can see here's that A position and the B position. Let me highlight that or zoom in on that for a second so you guys can really see those. All right, so here's A, that cross where I started. And I line up these parallel rollers with that point. And then right there on the B, 
the secondary or northern point that I was going to. And then I walk my parallels from here, this position, and this chart's to the left, and you can see how the parallels are open here. So what this does is, with these little connecting arms, you can move this side of the parallels, and they, it maintains this angular bearing. And I put that, that side on the compass rows, and I'll highlight or zoom in on this. You can see where I'm right here, centered on the crosshairs, right on the edge of that compass rows, and then the top of the edge of the um, parallel rulers, I go to the outside compass ring. This is true. And I can see that this course line is, that's 350 right there, just above the hand cursor. And then I made the mark right there. So it is one, two, three, four. So it's about 354, 355 is where that track line ends up. You can see that highlighted there, circled there. Okay, so now I wanna just label this course. So all I'm gonna do here is on the top of my track line, I'm gonna write the course that I found in true. So as you can see here, I put 355 true. So that, and here, all I'm going to do now is label that course and you can see I'm labeling it so I've got my track line going from A to B and I just put 355 degrees true so then when I come back and look at this I know if I want to tell someone how to navigate from A to B or if I want to go from A to B again I need to take a course of 355 true remember if I'm going on my boat I'm gonna to have to convert that to a compass course because I'm going to use the compass course on my boat this concludes our course track line video in our navigation series. Please check our YouTube channel for our other videos.